Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DACX remained flat today, marginally gaining 0.10 points or 0.002% and settled at 6,311 points. Market turnover was BDT 8.12 billion, which is an increase of 10.49% compared to the previous trading day. Pioneer Insurance, Asia Insurance, United Insurance, Jonathan Insurance and Reliance Insurance from the insurance sector mainly pulled the market up while Berger Paints, Stern Housing and Miracle Industries from the industrial sector, Lafarge Holcim from the cement sector, Metro Spinning Mills from the textile sector mainly dragged the market down today, keeping the market flat. In terms of sector-wise return, the insurance sector posted the highest gain of 1.25%, while the field under light sector registered the second highest gain of 0.06%. On the other hand, the IT sector posted the highest loss of 0.47% today. 14 insurance companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Jonathan Insurance, Asia Insurance and United Insurance registered the highest gain, while Metro Spinning, Legacy Footwear and Miracle Industries were the top losers today. There was no disclosed price-sensitive information for these stocks. The trading volume of Phoenix Finance and Investments, Prohat Insurance and LR Global Bangladesh Mutual Fund increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of these stocks. Today's top two news. Bangladesh's manpower exports to non-traditional countries surged significantly in the last few months. Like in the first eight months of 2023, manpower export to Italy almost doubled compared to the same period of the previous year. And to the UK, it became almost five times higher at the same time. If this growth continues, remittance inflow from non-traditional countries is likely to rise significantly in the near future as fruitful opportunities are arising there. According to the new tax law, 10% tax would be imposed on interest income from bank deposits. Moreover, an extra 5% tax would be deducted if any depositors fail to submit proof of submission of tax return PSR, to the bank. But this rule seems to be not fair for the non-taxable income people, especially the low-income people, as they are now bound to pay in total 15% tax for their deposit income. If this situation continues, inequality will be surging in the country as the tax burden on high-income people is lower than the low-income people. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Taka Stock Exchange. Follow Alert Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.